So I've been making espresso drinks at home for a couple of years now. I first started um, in a restaurant because I've been working there for a really long time, so I've had a lot of opportunity to be creative, try different things, and as soon as I saw an espresso machine that could fit on my counter, I got one and just started having fun. So the reason I enjoy making my own espresso drinks at home is, for one, it keeps the cost down. Sometimes um, it's about half the cost if you go to a specialty coffee shop. Additionally, I'm kind of particular about how I like my coffee the temperature of the milk, how much powder or flavoring to put in it. So if I do it myself, I don't have to be uh, self-conscious about going to a coffee shop and asking them to write eight different modifiers on my coffee cup. I enjoy lattes pretty much anywhere. I really enjoy going to Coffee Bean, which is where I buy all my products. And I always like to have a latte on the way to work so I can get ready for a long night of restaurant work. And I have several different favorite drinks. It depends on the season. I really enjoy pumpkin lattes during the fall and peppermint mochas during the winter. I really enjoy coconut during the summer. You can mix that with uh, mocha and it's really delicious. I also like tea during uh, the evening and just black coffee sometimes as well. The key to making a good espresso drink is everything that you put into the drink needs to be quality, which is why I use bottled water, and high quality flavor and high quality espresso products because if you don't put something good in then you're not going to get something good out. Making espresso drinks at home is really nice but there are people that don't like the taste of coffee or if you have children so you can modify a lot of these drinks um, to make them feel included like make hot chocolate just still froth the milk and put the chocolate powder in but don't put the espresso so that's going to be the difference between a mocha latte and a hot chocolate. So there's definitely ways to include everyone. I think it's really impressive if you have family and friends over and you can make them their favorite latte drink as good if not better than the coffee shop. And so in just a moment we're going to demonstrate that. Cheers! So these are the, most of the things that we're going to need for our espresso drinks. But the most important thing is to have a good shot of espresso. So I've already warmed up the machine and put the bottle of water in the back and put the capsule in here. The capsules look like this. Push the button here. And the difference will be a lot of pressure in the espresso machine, which is going to make it really, really rich and a crema on the top. That's all the foam right there. And this is what makes coffee shops special besides the uh, espresso machine. In one, in one touch, we got exactly what they have a pretty high-skilled person doing there. The last thing that we're going to do is garnish the latte. I choose cinnamon sugar. I think it looks really nice. Sisters drinking coffee in the rain. Cheers! My favorite place to enjoy a latte is when my sister stops laughing. <laughs>